Well, since Election Day is just weeks away, we wanted to make sure that you got an opportunity to get to know the people who are hoping to represent you in the local, state, and national government. So for our hot sauce today, we're going to have our first Winging It with the Candidates segment. And our first guest in the series is Assemblyman Dennis Gaberzak. He's represented the 143rd Assembly District in Albany in in 2006, which includes the town of Chitawaga, the town of Lancaster, and the villages of Depew, Lancaster, and Sloan. And so, thank you so much for being with us here today. Hopefully this is one of the more fun interviews you get to do as you're running, because we want to know just more about you and, and you know, the personal things that you enjoy. So first off, just tell us a little bit about your family. I've uh, been married about 37 years, 38 years, I think now. <laughs> um, I have a son, Brian, and a daughter, Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer went through uh, local schools, Canisius College, which kind of surprised me. She had a chance of going down to Florida for a university. She chose to, to stay here and go to Canisius. And my son uh, is involved in uh, Special uh, Olympics. He's Down syndrome, and uh, he's my best buddy. And what does he compete in? Uh, almost everything. Softball, um, track and field, basketball, bowling, swimming. Uh, he excels in swimming and uh, they had softball event just a few weeks ago when he came in first. And it's so great that your daughter shares your love of Western New York. She does. She was uh, down in New Orleans for, uh, for a few years and uh, came back last year. And it's, it's glad, I'm glad to have her back and um, she's really such a joy, a great person to be with. And let's talk about another passion of yours, and it's racing, right? Uh, I got involved uh, since being in the legislature. Uh, in, at the Yonkers Racetrack, they do a, uh, a legislative race. Oh, there's That's some awesome picture, picture there. Yeah, we actually go, I've done it twice now. Uh, and the third year will, will be actually in about three weeks from now. Uh, it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the first horse that I had, uh, we came in fourth. I think they sent that horse out to the glue factory after <laughs> after that race. So last year we came in third. So we we're looking to uh, you know do a little better this year. And another interesting fact is you actually know how to play the guitar. I do. Um, <laughs> how long have you been playing for? Oh, I started when I was you know probably taking guitar lessons when I was a, a teenager. I grew up in a family where you know my father played uh, an instrument my brother does so uh, music is something is a very important or, or a big part of my life and uh, actually that picture there is uh, we have a band in in Albany that the legislators uh, who play various instruments get together it's uh, the name of the band is budget blues boys and we do a benefit concert once a year uh, we've raised like ten thousand dollars in, in a night for um, different charities, uh, homeless shelters, things like that. So it's a lot of fun when you, when you can, it doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on, you get members from, from both sides, you know, drums and guitar and, and keyboard, whatever, and you get out and, and play, and it, it's, it's a great night, it's a lot of fun. So you're one of the more fun groups, I would guess. You, know, you have to have, uh, you know, a little release from, from everything that, that you do in, in Albany. And you know, you really, a lot of Western New Yorkers were appreciating one of the things you really set out to do, and that was to bring Nick Willenda here to Western New York. Actually, that was, um, when, when that first came up, a lot of my fellow legislators, you know, thought it was a hoax, you know, you're crazy, this guy's going to walk over Niagara Falls, and you know, after I met Nick and, and talked to him, uh, it, it didn't take long to realize that, uh, you know, he, he's a professional and he was very serious in, in wanting to do this, and he never once doubted that he was going to be successful. Um, you know, so it took, we had to move, uh, you know, a few things in to, to get it done in a very short period of time in terms of getting the legislation done in the assembly. But we were able to do that and it was a, it was a great event and, um, you know, Nick comes back and, and still does uh, good things for the community. Were you actually able to witness it there or did you have to watch on TV? No, uh, I was there. Uh, I actually took, um, we had a hundred uh, school children from uh, Chictawaga Central, come out to practice, to watch Nick practice, and uh, he spent some time, took pictures with the kids, and um, uh, talked to them, and the, the, uh, the night, um, you know, got to talk to Nick beforehand, and you know, he was very cool, very calm. It, and we're quickly running out of time here, so I want to make sure that we have time to talk about the event that you have coming up. So quickly tell us about that. We have a senior forum coming up uh, this weekend. It's, it's very important that uh, we have the ability to, to bring seniors in who may be looking for uh, different types of services, be it uh, repair services, snow plowing, landscaping, whatever. So we have a, a number of companies that are coming in to, to help uh, 
you know, set it up. It's going to be at the Cheektowaga Senior Center on, on Saturday from uh, 930 to 1230. Perfect. And if people want to know more about the issues that are important to you and kind of what you stand for, where can they find more information? They can uh, go to the Assembly website. They can call the office at 686-0080. And, uh, you know, we'd be more than happy to, to talk and, and help anyone we can. All right. Great. Thank you so much for being with Thank us here you. today. And for now, we're going to send things on over to Emily Lenahan with your dot-com check.